guys and welcome back to my channel for another SDI episode or search thy IRAs and as you can see we're back in the Chernobyl nuclear power plant and I have a feeling that this might actually be the final episode so yeah we're going to go back to the to the scientist and we're going to give him the flash drive or whatever he needs and then we'll see what happens I don't know what's going to happen, really, or how long it will take. It might actually be a very, very short episode, or a very long one, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. I've also been uh, looking at, you know, the end stuff and uh, the advices. I didn't go far into it because uh, I don't want to know how it ends. I just want to, you know, be prepared, I guess, to the best extent. So I, I have uh, an idea what I'm going to do. So do not worry about that. I have an idea what to do. Oh boy. Um, here we go. <gasps> to hurt ourselves. Uh, I need to start recording the intro for... for the next mod. If you know what I mean. Which will be the continuation of this one. Uh, what is it called? Duty Philoso Philosophy of War. Yeah, that's it. Duty Philosophy of War? No, I don't want to go back. But thanks for the offer. Thanks for the offer. Well, luckily there isn't anyone here to annoy the hell out of us. No monoliths or last days. Yeah, last days especially. Or the, the Clone Wars. The Clone Soldiers. So yeah, we'll, we're fine. I hope. You'll never know. Especially when you're heading into these spooky laboratory things. Yeah, it has a good spooky ambience, but uh, I don't think there's there's anything spookier to spook us so we can get spooked and scared. Well, there's the the shant of the something. Another time skip. <laughs> so we can move time forward. And yes, we want to move to the other location. Yeah, there will be a lot of transitioning from one side to another. Unsurprising. But I Yeah, this is probably the last episode. That's why I'm like looking at this mod and thinking of all the fun that I had. And uh... Yeah, yeah, whatever. And uh... Yeah, a good... A very good mod. A very good story. Although some, some annoying tasks of going back and forward. But yeah. You can actually make good mods without, uh, you know, adding new levels. You can just, you know, know what you're doing and uh, create, like, a, a good story, have good uh, gameplay elements, tons of weapons, of course. <clears throat> Everyone loves firearms. That's the most fun thing ever on this mod. Especially on mods. There it is, Mr. Scientist Man. Hey, buddy. I finished my business. Any news from Ghost General? 
Yeah, Strelok is back and now Ghost is ready to meet you. Go to the first teleporter. Finally. Goodbye, General. Goodbye, General. Will we die? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Can we just spook all the, all the, the scientists, guys? And there is Ghost. Hello. Barely found you, Ghost. My legs were stuck up my ass looking for you. Uh, but you shouldn't have found me, Slav. The doctor said you were persistent, but he was wrong. You are not persistent. You are a stubborn piece of horse poop. Do you want to return to your world? Do you know what your chances are? Shall I show you this? Can end with a 50% chance for you? Uh, are you scaring me? I'm warning you. Turn around. Look for yourself and think. But it would be nice if you'd tell me where I could find myself. Oh. What happened to Sidorovich? Okay. I'm going to drink his vodka, I guess. Yo, what happened to you, old man? Well, there's like a... A name there. Derp. 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 Your vodka sucks, by the way. Yeah, there goes the timer. Okay. Uh, what was that? Sidorovich's mausoleum? Uh, Sidorovich bunker. Sidorovich tried to escape arrest and activated a temporary asynchronizer. Uh, Remazov promised him that the activation would block his bunker and create a protection zone inside. Uh, Remazov made a mistake. Then he explained to me what happened, and all I understood was that the bunker space was divided. In one half the time axis shifted on the other side, suddenly everything was set back to zero. Always these mad scientists. Do you know who the most terrible people on earth are? Scientists. All problems are caused by them. Do you still want to try to come back? Eh, I don't know about that, but okay, the scientists, not on our world. Of course there are bad ones, but uh, especially the ones that develop weapons, but yeah, that, that's another conversation. Of course! Well, you're a really stubborn son of a bitch. Okay, listen. Go to the sarcophagus, where the illusion of monolith was projected, and you will wait there for Strelok. Not the one you knew, our Strelok. He will tell you what to do. Do as he says. He has experience of moving between worlds. Well, good luck to you. Goodbye, ghost. Yeah, sure. <coughs> Okay, so we're, we're back here, I guess. Couldn't they just took me back to... to Strelok? I think that would have been much, much easier, but okay. And that would make much more sense, instead of just, uh... Beep boop boop boop. Instead of just going back and the... Uh, or... Oh, God damn it! stop! Can't see a goddamn thing. They didn't pay their uh, <laughs> their electricity bill. That's why there's no lights here. Remember, kids, always pay your bills on time, so you'll never lose access to your services, like plumbing and electricity and stuff and internet access. And yada 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 yada. I could go on, but it's boring. Okay, nice music, bruh. Nice music. Let's go to Strelok. Yeah, I'm going to do a. What's it called? Pull a, a real gamer move. Before I meet the Strelok. Because I read that's something you should do <laughs> if you want to have a 
better chance of surviving. What's coming? Yeah, I didn't run much. I didn't move much forward than that. Uh, where is it? There it is. Now we need to go here. There is a stupid ladder here. That we can climb. So we can get closer to the monolith. Or what's left of it. Yeah. It's no longer there for some reason. I think uh, the monolith couldn't afford to pay the bills, so they <laughs> they got repoed. <laughs> they got repossessed. They they took the monolith as a as a token until they pay their bills. Their their electric bills. That's why there's no electricity here. Everything's dark. They didn't pay the bills, and uh, yeah, this is what happened. This is what happens. So I don't want to break my legs. I'm going to do that, and then we're going to do this. Look at that, and we didn't break our legs. Uh, wolf. Yeah, that's not Strelok. I'm going to. To leave this here. We're side orbitage. What? Drop this here. Where the hell did my suit go? Oh, it's here. So we're going to drop this, drop that, and drop this. Uh, drop a few. Drop a few. Uh, let's drop a, a bunch of that. Let's drop all of these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's drop that. Uh, let's drop a few. No. Let's drop a few. Let's drop all of these. And let's drop all of these. And there we go. Uh, okay, we should be fine. Let's quick save. Let's talk to the fake Strelok. Well, hello, Slavin. I was sent here by Ghost. I know, you're gonna try to come back, or you won't risk it and stay here in this world. I don't change my mind, I want to go back. Then listen carefully. First of all, you have to leave everything you have found in this world here. Maybe it's not necessary, but I think it can't hurt. Secondly, I will give you an asynchronizer. When you stand in the center of the projector in the control bunker, it is automatically activated. Wait for the operation, and if you are lucky, you will find yourself in the old real world. Do you understand everything? Yes, sir. Roger that. Now let's go. Leave the rifle, you brought it with you. Well, good luck, stalker. Wait, Strelok, what happened to you? Will you tell me? Uh, nothing to brag about. I returned to the zone in the summer of 2014. I wanted to get my weapons from Sidorovich and stand in front of locked doors. I spoke to the doctor and Remazov. Remazov told me about the Aster, uh, temporary a synchronizer, and I decided to get him. Remazov also told me about the experiment on the Antar when almost all life died there. Through the sweeping PSI impulse, all the people approaching the lab became either zombies or mutated into snorks. He also told about the stuff with the technology that went through a cycle of asynchronous synchronization. Uh, simply said that you can teleport into a parallel universe with it. I didn't believe it. I got the USB stick, so I went to the power plant. Uh, they told me it was possible to get through the power plant into the frozen Sadarovich bunker for a while. The flash drive was in the device, and as I walked through the control center, the asynchronizer was activated. Uh, immediately I was shot at by Apos, I interrupted the connection, bam, and I'm back in the middle and the apocalypses are still there. 
I am currently stuck in an eternal cycle. So far, Ghost hasn't given me a USB stick or a note. Yeah, yeah, anyway. Is Savdorovich guilty? It was necessary to look through the whole power plant during the assault to finish off the apocalypse. Uh, you should have, there is no exit to Chernobyl nuclear power plant too. Well, there wasn't, well, okay, goodbye, Strelok. Oh no. He took away all my stuff. <laughs> no, he didn't, lol. Because I left it here. Haha, <laughs> I lied to you, Strelok. I'm taking all my stuff back. <laughs> Oh crap, I forgot the pistol ammo. Oh well. It is what it is. Can I put this here? No. I lost all my artifacts too. Okay, well. We'll probably find more ammo for it. We have our, our exo, which is the, the most important. And we have plenty of supplies. We should be fine. Uh, time of synchronizer. Thought that was something else. Yeah, we're going back with almost all our kit. We don't need all of it, we can just take part of it. So I think maybe taking all of it would, uh, you know, make things weirder, maybe? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. So, uh, we need to go back to the control. We can go through here. Right. So let's get going. Let's get cracking. Because I still have most of my equipment left. Back to the... to the... now this again. There we go. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty funny. <clears throat> well... A lot of dialogue, not a lot of shooting, if you know what I mean. So we need to go to the control bunker and jump into the thing. I think it's right about... Here. And there we are back again. On the road again. Oh, there's a countdown. Okay. Stuff is happening. Okay. Something happened. Don't know what, but I think we just came to to our dimension or whatever. Just oh god, no, no. Oh god. Really? That's what you get. Dingus. Oh boy. Stupid controller. Well, he got what he deserved, I guess. Well, I should have left some vodka. But I didn't have any. Uh, I had plenty of it, but I forgot. Yeah, there wasn't a controller back then. No, there is. No, there is. Yeah, I think I'm brain damaged for life now. Oh, I remember that. Remember that on on the first episode that that thing or second episode that thing was beeping too. So does that mean that we are on our own reality now? Well, if I guess, probably yes. Okay, so the intermittent brain damage is disappearing. Well, that's good. 
That is good. Yeah, I thought I was actually had yeah. Actually thought that this was going to be the last episode, but I don't think it will. I don't think it will. We'll ju I'll just get out of here. And once I get out, I'll I'll end the session. I guess this mod still has plenty of life to give. Although there weren't a lot of shooting today, with the exception of the controller that decided to get shot in the face. Oh, there's bandages in the floor and paper. You were looking for specific parts on your radio, so good luck, Strelok. Okay. So I guess Strelok left this here? Okay. I'll take all of this. Not a lot, but uh... Yeah, I'm fine. I am fine. I am fine. At least we can get out of this place. <clears throat> there we go. Now we need to climb up. And there we are. No stupid APCs or anything. That is fantastic. And looks like we're back in our own world. That is great. Have a nice day. I got it, I got it, I'm back. Back from what? The devils are chasing you? Uh, Vadim, here's a radio. Uh, do, do what you want with it, but now you have to do me a huge favor right away. Lie, tell something, the Germans are attacking the Americans, the aliens have landed, hell is frozen over or something, but please, call in some helicopters and special forces immediately for support to the kindergarten in Pripyat. My group is about to be completely destroyed. Take it easy, I'll do it. Sounds pretty interesting. Thank you, Captain. God willing, we'll see you again. Alright, so probably will be well for the final st standoff. Well, I am going to end this session here. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode, thanks for watching, stay safe and stay well, and I'll see you guys the next time.